Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome in and thank you so much for joining. There are timestamps for you in the comment section as well as the description box so you can skip ahead at any time. We're going to start with the person on your mind. Let's see what's happening here. It could be a Gemini for some of you, an Aquarius. Well, there's somebody here who wants to fight for the connection. Okay. Ace of Cups, Knight of Swords, the Lovers in Reverse. And we have the Four of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Wands. They think it's worth fighting for. This is somebody that is in love with you, Sagittarius. But there's something about the connection that I'm getting is the disconnect with the lovers in reverse. It's really weighing them down. It's really burdening them. And they would like to reunite or they would like to make things better between the both of you. Okay, page of pentacles in reverse. Queen of pentacles, you're not talking to them. Ten of Pentacles. A lot of you guys could be focused on work, but not yeah, focus on yourself. You know what? This person here, Four of Wands, Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, and the Knight of Cups. I'm sorry, the Ace of Cups again. So I'm getting like the more the less you are speaking to this person, the more you guys have been focused on yourself, is causing this person to want to come rushing in. I really see you standing in your power, Sagittarius, and I really see you guys receiving a lot of attention, okay? And you definitely have this person's attention, but I'm also seeing attention from other people. Just attention from people in general. The devil wanted to come out. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. What's the devil energy for? The sun, Leo. Someone's obsessed with you. I mean, damn. And there is somebody here that's feeling very foolish I'm getting for pushing you away this is someone that did not prioritize communicating with you or prioritize a connection with you they could have been communicating with other people or just not taking the situation seriously with the page of wands like somebody knows they weren't taking you seriously and it's like now they want to take it seriously the emperor divine masculine energy so this is somebody here that is not showing you emotion tell me more about this emperor energy aries energy spirit tell me about this emperor king they're not stable Somebody is afraid to speak about how they feel because they know that once they say it, it's almost like this person feels like if they were to speak up about the way they're feeling, that it would just come, all come flooding out. They feel like they would lose a sense of power or lose a sense and lose control. How do they see Sagittarius? right now okay the chariots they're weak for you so they see you as the chariot that's the first card that came out that's cancerian energy and then we have leo energy here but it's like they see you as somebody who is very like you respect yourself you have a lot of willpower a lot of drive you're, you're not showing any signs of weakness You're not giving in, okay, with the chariot. 
could be keeping a distance from this person, obviously. How do they feel? I'm getting they're feeling weak. Like this person is, how do they feel? Here, what are their true emotions towards Sagittarius? They're tired of waiting. Queen of Wands in reverse, why? Yeah. They feel interested. Uh, Somebody is obsessed. Okay. And I'm getting like the longer they wait, the more obsessed. Like this person really thought you were going to reach out to them or they thought you were going to pursue them or show them some signs of interest and you have not. And so it's like they're sick of waiting. What's their next actions? Judgment. A second chance. Oh, wait. Reconciliation. They want a second chance. Could be an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. I have Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn. What do they want from Sagittarius? Seven of Wands. Why the Seven of Wands? Wheel of Fortune. They want to open up. They want to drop their guard, guys. They want to drop their guard. They want to open up. The Moon in Reverse, the Ten of Wands. This is somebody that wants to get something off their chest. They're, they're tired of hiding how they feel. They're tired of blocking this connection. Or they're just... There's definitely an energy here where there may have been a struggle for the upper hand, or at least to them, it was a struggle for the upper hand, and it's almost like they're ready to give in. Sag it could be another Sagittarius for some of you. We have Pisces. they feel you leaving them behind and that's what it has a lot to do with Sagittarius the fact that they think you are it's like the more you are working on yourself the more you are building success in your own life they can energetically feel like it's almost an energy of like you not needing them as much or you not needing them we have, I have too much to lose. This person does have a very large ego. They're afraid you don't feel the same anymore because you're not showing signs. Cause it's like, you quit giving to the connection. One more. They don't want to just be your friend. Like it's saying, I want to be more than friends. I want to feel that way again. You made them feel some type of way. They took it for granted. They lost you. And now they're unable to get that feeling back again. There was, it was, it's one of those connection side shares where when you guys were together, it was very magical. Like not even to be corny. Like it was very magical. Uh, it was very just, I'm getting like an enchanting connection. Okay. Like. Like, I'm actually hearing that Taylor Swift song, uh, Enchanted, or it's called, is it called Sparks Fly or Enchanted? Like, I am, I was enchanted to meet you. That's what I'm getting. Anything else before we move on? Ugh, the Hierophant. Yeah, this is like, this person really wants to be, they're serious. They want to, they want to be serious this time, but it took losing you. Okay. It took you backing away or it took you focusing on yourself. And now it's like, they're ready to get serious. Taurus energy.
I'm hearing, please don't be in love with someone else. They think you may have fallen for somebody else. There's a, that's, that is a fear of theirs. All right, we're going to move on to the singles. What are the messages for my single Sagittarians? Single Sagittarius, please. Okay, a great connection coming in. I do see a relationship coming towards you. Travel. And we have Ice Queen. Some of you Sagittarians may be recently divorced or you recently broke up with someone. So you're having this, you know, you're using discernment when it comes to connecting with others. And I do feel like with the travel card, the Ice Queen, this is telling me you're really kind of like, you have a very thick guard, right? You, you're guarding your heart at this time. Soulmate, there's someone trying to come towards you. What's this person like? What's this person like? What's their personality? I tell you, Sagittarius, a lot of you single Sagittarians are kind of like very cold towards love. You could be focusing on your own dreams right now, as you should, but it's almost this energy of like feeling like love is BS. Like, I really feel like you guys are in this energy of like, well, it only lasts throughout the honeymoon phase. Like a lot of you guys think love is delusional. You've really lost your faith in it. Okay, so this person's personality. They like to be alone a lot. Okay. I do feel this person has gone through a serious breakup here. Okay, there's definitely been a major breakup in their life. But the thing is, it's like they're open to meet new people right now. Like this is somebody who is single and ready to mingle. Yeah, they're out of their, they, they've come out of their head about this breakup. Like they did have a serious connection, a serious relationship. They broke up with that person. Now they're out of their head about this person though. That person is no more. Can be a Taurus. Well, this person, I, I don't really think, they don't have a ton of friends guys, okay? Um, eight of cups. That's what their personality is like. Like this person doesn't really have a ton of, they have acquaintances. They don't really have a ton of friends. I see them coming towards you, but it's after your period of introspection. So Sagittarius spirits telling me you're going to be walking down this path of introspection, getting in touch with your emotions. And then this person is going to pop out of nowhere. The sun in reverse. So you got to go through your period of the blues. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Cups. You could meet this person at an event, getting some type of event. I'm also seeing something about your, you guys have similar acquaintances. So Spirit says after you go through your period of introspection and getting clear with what it is you want, I feel like there's a lot of emotional healing that needs to be done on your end, Sagittarius. I do see you meeting someone, possibly a fire sign or an earth sign. Strong Leo, strong Taurus. And Spirit says this is a great connection coming towards you. traveling in the month of November. Um, I heard family reunion. I know it's Thanksgiving's coming up, so that could be what that's about. What does a uh, single Sagittarius need to surrender in the month of November? Surrender to the beauty of the natural world and surrender to complete healing. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. 
So single Sagittarians, I feel like spirit just really wants you to get right with yourself. Do things that make you feel good and get right with yourself. And I do feel like all of this is going to unfold naturally, of course, but I do see you meeting a great connection. But you just want to make sure that you are emotionally prepared to meet this person. That way things can flow naturally between you and them. So take your time with the healing, of course, but just, you know, surrender to complete healing so your heart chakra can be open enough to allow this person in. Let's take a look at whatever comes out. What are the important messages for Sagittarius? What are the important messages for Sagittarius, please? Okay, movement. There's some movement happening in an area of your life that you may have been experiencing stagnancy. Rest. Spirit wants you to get your rest because things are about to pick up for you. You're going to enter a phase to where you're not going to have a lot of time to rest because there's going to be so much elevation, okay? I'm also getting, don't be afraid to rest, okay? Don't be afraid to take a break. You know, we live in a world where they, like, promote hustle culture, which hustling is fine, but at the end of the day, you know, we manifest our reality. So if you're constantly thinking you have to hustle, 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 you're going to keep manifesting that. Magic. There's some serious magic about to take place. Spirit says be at ease. All is going according to plan. There's something happen. It's very magical. Yeah, and then we have trust. And then we have confidence that wanted to come out with that. Trust in the universe. Trust in the magic of things, okay? Don't get hung up on the whens and the hows. Just know what you want. Know what's going to come. And rest assured that movement will happen, okay? Magic is happening behind the scenes. I mean, magic's happening all around us, but... Anything else for Sagittarius? And then we're going to do cross watchers. Are there any other messages for Sagittarius? Justice getting served. So if someone has done you dirty recently, just know that justice will be served. The fairest is, the universe is going to balance this out. And I'm getting sweet justice. I also see new love coming in. Which that's what we were getting in the singles reading. Could be from a Libra, an Aquarius, an Aries, a Gemini. Okay. And then we have this past person. Could be a Sagittarius or an Aquarius. But there's somebody here that is not healed. They're not over you. They are not over you. They're wanting to come back into your life. Okay, we're going to do Aries through Pisces. This is Cross Watchers. This is if you are dealing with this sign. Aries through Pisces, please. Aries through Pisces. Some of you, there was an Aries that is obsessed with you lately. Aries through Pisces. If you're dealing with an Aries, the Aries wishes to be wherever you are. They want to be with you. If you're dealing with a Taurus, 
The Taurus wants to come forward. If you're dealing with a Gemini, the Gemini wants to tell you the truth. If you're dealing with a Cancer, the Cancer wants a new beginning with you. If you're dealing with a Leo, the Leo has romantic feelings. If you're dealing with a Virgo, the Virgo is very confused. Okay, with the Seven of Cups, I feel like the Virgo has more than one option, more than one path to take. They're very confused when it comes to you. If you're dealing with a Libra, the Libra wants to communicate. So I feel like Libra has a tendency to act cold and detached. Uh, they really want to talk to you, though. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, the Scorpio wants to unite. They want to come together. If you're dealing with another Sagittarius, they want to work with, they want to work with you. Three of Pentacles. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, this Capricorn is in love with you. If you're dealing with an Aquarius. Five of Wands. Could be some drama between you and Aquarius. The Aquarius wants to clear the air with you. I feel like there's some tension in the month of November before, but between you and, Aqu and Aquarius, but they want to clear the air. If you are dealing with a Pisces, the Pisces wants to communicate, Eight of Wands. All right, guys, those are your messages. I hope this gave you some clarity. If it did, I really appreciate you giving a thumbs up to this video. It does help the algorithm of the video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and until next time, bye.